two thoughts on Laramie Tunsil, and I'm glad you brought his name up. Number one, Laramie Tunsil is a really talented player. And 95% of the time, he does a great job. But I've seen too many mental mistakes. I've seen too many times where he's trying to do somebody else's job instead of his own job. And that's just in these first couple of games, but we saw it in the past as well. The second thing about Laramie Tunsil, I hear a lot of Texans fans go, let's trade Laramie Tunsil right now. Let's get rid of him. You know, I don't like Laramie Tunsil. He's not the future, blah, blah, blah. Two things. Laramie Tunsil is not an old man. He's got a lot of years left in the NFL. Tackles last a long time. That's number one. Number two, if you trade Laramie Tunsil right now, he's still doing a lot of great things for you. He makes life a lot better for your struggling quarterback that it would only be struggling more if he was feeling pressure because Charlie Heck or Titus Howard is over there playing left tackle. The second thing is, you know, you're not only would you not have him this year and not have a, a, a probably a starting caliber left tackle this year, but you go, okay, well, we'll get one in the draft next year. Well, that's a learning curve. So you're talking two, three, four years down the road. Why? Why is there an urgency? Who is on the roster making all this money? It's not like we have a quarterback that's coming up and it's going to be asking for $50 million. We don't have a lot of talent anyway. Just let it be. He's fine. I mean, I, I want him to be better, especially for what you're paying for him and for what you gave up for him. But that's more on the old regime. That's not Laramie Tunsil's fault. So I don't understand that narrative at all, as much as I get frustrated with Laramie Tunsil at times. I'll just say this. I mean, look, fans will fan. Um, and that's one of those overreaction uh, type things. Now, if he was traded in the offseason, I don't think we were, would have really blinked twice at it. It's acquiring draft capital. It's shedding a large amount of money um, on your payroll. And of course, um, you know, those things can be kind of tricky depending on what you're getting in return and dead money and how much you're going to have to pay another team to take somebody off your hands. I don't know. You know, depends on the kind of deal that you're getting. But I just don't think if that would have happened in the offseason that it would have really hit home. I mean, it's like, OK, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's uh, millions and millions of dollars that are off the books and it's in year one of a rebuilding year. But there's the key. It's really year one of the rebuilding year, not the teardown anymore. Last year was just last year. You had that guy coaching this team and it was just an utter disaster. Um, this is about a youth movement. They're going to give these young players, these rookies, every opportunity to learn how to win. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.